We're going to explain how to import SF2 files, which are sound font files, into FL Studio Mobile. One. First, you need to obtain SF2 sound font files. You can find many free ones online through various websites dedicated to sound libraries. Two. Once you've downloaded your chosen SF2 file, you'll need a file manager app on your mobile device. This is because FL Studio Mobile doesn't directly support browsing your device's file system for sound fonts. Popular options include files by Google, Solid Explorer, or the built-in file manager if your device has one. Three, using your file manager, locate the downloaded SF2 file. Four, now, open FL Studio Mobile. Five, within FL Studio Mobile, you'll need to find the area where you can add instruments or samples. The exact location might depend slightly on your version of the app, but generally you'll see options related to channels, add, or a similar function that lets you incorporate new sounds. Six, instead of directly importing the SF2, Florida Studio Mobile often works with individual samples or instrument presets. This means you cannot simply import the SF2 file directly, you'll use a workaround. Seven, to access the sounds in the SF2 file, you'll likely need a third-party application. There are apps available that can convert the SF2 sound bank into individual WAV files, a format FL Studio Mobile supports, or other compatible formats like AIFF. Eight, these individual sound files generated from the SF2 can then be imported into FL Studio Mobile one by one. Nine, look for options to import audio files within the instrument sample section of FL Studio Mobile. 10. Once imported, the individual sounds from your SF2 file will show up as instruments you can use in your projects. 11. Arrange these sounds in your project as you would any other sample. Remember, this process involves converting the SF2 into individual audio files due to FL Studio Mobile's limitations in directly handling sound fonts. The number of steps and exact locations of buttons may vary slightly based on your device and FL Studio Mobile version, so if something doesn't match perfectly, look around closely. If you encounter issues finding the import function, check the app's help menu or user guide.